Hey everybody, this is Pete Wenzel and today I'm going to show you how to control the particle emission using density maps. How to get to the plant's particle system will not be part of this video. So if you're interested in this topic, check out my linked video. Just for a better overview, we will disable the landscape particle system. Be sure to select the plant's particle system afterwards, otherwise we will see no changes at all and we will waste a lot of time for searching for our mistake. I usually do. Enable show emitter in viewport to see what we are going to do next. Add a new texture and rename it. Plants density text. Then change to the texture tab and with this new texture selected we need to add an image. For our case the resolution is not really important. Therefore we use the default values. Set a name, plants density image and click OK. Change to material tab and add a new material. Call it plants density mat. Change the shader to diffuse and use an image texture as base color. You may work with a BSDF shader as well, but for texture painting I prefer to have no reflections. Assign your plant's density image as color. Everything should be black. To check if we could start painting, we change to texture tab and change the type either to UV grid or to color grid. If you do not see such a regular grid in top view, you may go to edit mode and UV unwrap your object. If everything is fine, set the color to blank again and select a base color. You should know that white means all of the particles will be emitted and black means none will be emitted. I prefer starting with gray and afterwards define some no-go areas and some hotspots. Depending on your scene, you may start with another base color as well. Scroll down and open Influence. Uncheck General Time and Enable Density, because we only want to affect the particle density of our emitter with the texture, but nothing else. Now we can dive into texture painting. Change the mode to texture paint mode and open the settings, pressing N and select tool. With radius we define the pencil size and with strength the opacity. With the color white selected go to whatever view you prefer and paint all areas white where many plants shall be omitted. I mainly choose the valley at the center. After you're done, you realize that nothing will happen. To update our particle system, switch to edit mode and back again by pressing tab. Change the color to black and define the areas where no plants should grow. After you're done, go back to edit mode, show the other particle system again and hide the emitter. Now the next step is pretty important. You have to be sure that you are saving the image we have just painted because otherwise all of this painting work will be lost. If you are happy with the result then turn off the tutorial and enjoy your work. But to be honest I am not really happy with the result. I would like to have the trees mainly at the valley and not on the hills and the grass should be everywhere but especially at the mid levels. To get this desired result we need to adjust our scene. This will be a little bit faster and may be hard to follow but you should give it a try. To reach our goal we will first split the grass and the trees into different collections, second we will split them into different particle systems and third we will define separate density maps. If you like this video share it with your friends, give me a thumb up and feel free to ask further questions in the comments below. If you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Ok, here we go. Open the plants collection and add two sub collections. 
plants grass and plants trees. Now move the objects into the matching collections via drag and drop. Hide the landscape particle system in the viewport and enable the show emitter for the grass particle system again. Add a new particle system slot, assign the plants grass particle settings, duplicate it and rename it to plants trees. With plant grass particle system selected, change the collection to plants grass and with plant tree particle system selected, change the collection to plants trees. Now only trees will be emitted from the tree particle system and same with grass. With grass particle system selected, go to the connected texture, rename it to plants trees density text, duplicate it and rename it to plants grass density text. In texture tab, we have to carefully select the new grass texture and rename the image as well to plants trees density image and remove it for the grass texture and add a new one called plants grass density image. There's something wrong. Do you see this? It seems like the particle system and the texture painting is rotated by 90 degree. Hmm, we should fix this. Um, open the UV editor, select all vertices of the emission surface and rotate them by 90 degree. Now the particles and the texture are lining up again, but not with the landscape. Therefore we will rotate the object by 90 degree to, to have everything perfectly matching. <sighs> Sorry for the mistake, but now we are back on track and we could continue with the tutorial. Change the type to one of the grids. Go to material options and change the base color to the new created plants grass density image. If we see a grid everything was adjusted correctly, if not we did a mistake. Go back to the texture tab, change the type to blank and set the color to gray. After that we change the mode to texture paint mode. Change the color to white. Increase the pencil size and maybe edit the fall off for smoother blending. Now paint everything white where most grass should grow. In my case I set mainly at the mid levels of the landscape. That means there and here. Uh, there are two. Great. In the particle settings we could adjust the total amount of particles and object distribution for the two particle systems individually. I mainly use the density maps for two things. First, prevent plants growing at areas of the landscape with a too high elevation to prohibit tree and rock overlapping or second, areas where I would like to place buildings afterwards. You have to be sure that you are saving the image we have just painted because otherwise all of this painting work will be lost. In contrast to the benefit of having maximum control of the particle density by using multiple particle systems there is one big disadvantage. I mean one disadvantage besides that it might be a little bit confusing. Different objects can now placed at the same position which looks weird. The workaround is to change the random seed of one particle system until you do not see any overlapping objects from your current camera view. If you find another solution which might be better just let me know in the comments below. This looks pretty nice to me. Now even from my point of view this is the end of this tutorial. In the next video I will show you how to easily add some sky background to your scene. If you had problems following this tutorial or you would like to have the exact same result as I have or you just want to collect things then you might check out the download link of the project file in the video description. 
Now you have reached the end of this video. But this doesn't mean you have to talk to real people. You may be interested in my new video over there. Or you could watch this recommended video. And as a last opportunity, there are many more videos for you at my channel.